In this Flowblade tutorial, I will show you how to create a very simple freeze frame video clip. I've assumed you have some understanding of working in Flowblade. A link to my beginner's tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've brought this very simple clip of a chap skiing down a mountainside into uh, track one. And to save a bit of time, I've also um, placed the marker at the point I want to freeze this video clip. So the easiest way to freeze a clip in um, Flowblade is to create an image of the frame. Now you can either, first of all, what I would do is cut it first. So you can either cut the active track here with this razor blade or just simply press X for X-ray on your keyboard and this will split the clip. Now if you come up to File and then next to Export select Current Frame. This will move but it, it won't affect what you're actually doing and You've got a couple of types of image you can select, I believe, a bit Mac TIFF, but I keep it as PNG. Um, you could also um, give it a title here. And the only other thing you might want to do is place it somewhere where you can find it. So I'm going to just, I don't know, just lob it on my desktop. In fact, I will give it a different title. I'll call it, um, I don't know, that'll do, call it what you want and then just select export image go into your file browser desktop and because I've already tried this once this is why I've given this one another title just drag your image into the media box close this down and drag your image into the timeline. Now the one thing that, um, unless you've changed your uh, preferences, the one thing you'll find you're probably going to get something like 250 frames on this, which I think is about 10 seconds long, this track. So you can either A, reduce the length by placing your marker on the edge and dragging it down. So I don't know, we'll just, just drag this down to here. I'm going to drag this one to the right, place the image in track one, and then slap this back up again. And we'll just play this, see what it plays like. And that's probably too short. So another thing you can do, if you select your image, then right click, Next to edit, you can select set clip length. So you can see this is quite short. So you, you could put a manual time in here, or I know this is 25 frames per second. So if I wanted to go for say three seconds, I'll just type in 75 in the frames and then select OK and this is stretched this out quite nicely go back to play and that's working fine next thing you need to do is render your job won't go into that um, I will this video here this is at this exact point this is the one I showed at the beginning of the tutorial so I'll just go ahead and render this and um, nothing else to say really. Hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.